Hello and welcome to this video on connecting your Sublime Code Editor to ASU's web host. If you haven't already, go ahead and navigate to the Canvas course where the web editors are listed and download Sublime. Go ahead and click there. That'll open in a new browser tab and it should um, open up to the download that fits um, your machine. It detects for that. Mine says download for Mac, yours may say download for PC. Um, go ahead and click on that and add Sublime into your applications and then open it up. Here we are in a fresh install. Um, it comes up to this page here with uh, just an open document. We're going to go ahead and go to Tools and Command Palette. And we're going to um, type in Package Control Install. Um, and once you click on that, it'll open up that package and install it into your Sublime. Then what you want to do is search for SFTP. Um, mine is already installed, so it isn't listed here. But as soon as you click on SFTP, uh, it will be installed. If you want to make sure that it is, you can go to Package uh, Control list packages and there you can see the two packages I have cons uh, installed uh, including com control and SFTP. If you click on that you can see where it is installed on your machine. It's going to be in your applications for Sublime Text 3. Then there'll be packages and the two packages in there are SFTP and user. Uh, and that's all you need to do with that. Go ahead and close it. Now we're ready to open your www folder. So the local drive, so your machine, will have um, a folder called www, which is going to mirror the one that's on the remote server. Um, and it will also be called www. All of those files in there should just mirror each other. So if you change it on your local drive, you'll want to go ahead and upload it to your web drive. So we'll hit file and open and we're going to open that www folder um, where all your local files are. And this is mine. Um, so just open and then search for that folder. If you don't have that folder yet where you keep all of your um, web items, go ahead and create one www, then everything in here is going to mirror that structure that's on the web server. All right, there's mine. Uh, then what you want to do is right mouse click on that folder. I'm going to click over here so you can see and go to SFTP. And then yours will say um, map uh, local or map remote, uh, map to remote. All right, mine is already mapped, so it wants to know if I want to change it, <laughs> uh, which I don't. <laughs> so go ahead and click Map to Remote. And then what that will do is open up that um, JSON file so that you can um, uh, enter in your information. So we're going to go ahead and edit that remote map on mine. So this should open your sftp-config.json. Um, and here is all the information that you need to connect uh, to your uh, web host. All right, so the first line is what kind of connection do you want to make? And it should be set at SFTP. If you want to save before upload, uh, make that true. If you want to upload on every save, you can up, uh, change that to true. Uh, mine is set to false. I prefer it that way. I want to be able to save bunches of changes and then upload one time, uh, but you may choose different. Uh, all the defaults uh, are set here, and so I I'm just going to leave all of them as they are defaulted. So that first uh, couple of lines leave the same. Then uh, in line 17, you want to change the host to general.asu.edu. Then in the user um, value, you want to put your ASU write. In your password, you'll type in your password for ASU. Then in port, you will um, put uh, 22. If these two lines are um, uh, commented out like this, go ahead and just delete those two little lines so that they will um, connect. 
Moving on to remote path, what you want to type there is forward slash AFS forward slash ASU dot edu. I'll make that a little bigger for you. Forward slash users forward slash the first letter of your ASU right forward slash the second letter of your ASU right forward slash the third letter of your ASU right forward slash your ASU right forward slash www w, and forward slash right this is what connects to um, your space on the ASU web server all right um, and the rest of this you can ignore. So then go ahead and save and close and you're ready to go. Let's go ahead and click into your www folder and let's add a new, uh, new folder. And you'll notice that pops up here on the bottom. Hey, what do you wanna name it? Let's just name it um, sublime-test. We wanna make sure that this connection is working all right, so that's added a folder into our local um, web folder. Then we're gonna right mouse click and add a new file. And so that opens up your, uh, your HTML file. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our doc type information. We'll give this a title of sublime dat test. And in the body here, We'll add an H1 um, with testing, dot, dot, dot. Excellent. This is all we need to kind of get started and make sure that we are connected. So we'll hit save, um, and we're going to call this test.html. And you can see here it's saved within the Sublime Test folder that we just created. So I'll hit save. Then over here, I will right mouse click on that Sublime folder and I will go to SFTP and then I will upload the folder. And down here, you'll see uh, popped up really quick. It connected and it uploaded to the web server. And that's it. Easy peasy. No need to go to my files um, and upload and add a folder and wait forever for it to upload. It just kind of uploads automatically. Then what we'll do is go to a new browser tab and we'll make sure that it's there. So we'll type in our domain, which is www.public.asu.edu slash tilde, whatever your ASU right is, mine is CCARRA1, then slash, and then we need to, this gets us into our www folder, right? This is the equivalent for our local drive and our web drive, that's the domain, right? That's covered by the www folder. Now, whatever folders and files we put within www, we have to cite, we have to cite that path. So we made a folder called sublime-test, and then we put a file in there called test.html. We'll hit enter, and there we go. We have sublime test happening right there. Uh, in our web server. And that is how we know it is connected. If for some reason it doesn't come up right away, we can go ahead and check that it's there in my ASU. Uh, we can go to my files, which will open up um, in your my.asu.edu portal. If yours isn't right here, um, look through this kind of set of buttons and hit view more. You can actually customize this list for the things that you use the most. I use uh, my files a lot, so I put that button there. So we'll go ahead and click on that. It'll re-authenticate our user account. Oh, it didn't this time, okay. <laughs> and then uh, click on www. This folder, by the way, is magical. It is connected to the internet. Should you accidentally erase your www folder, you cannot re recreate it. You'll need to contact uh, the help desk. You can do that by going to Canvas and clicking on this question mark link and they will help you immediately. It's there uh, 24 seven, all right? In here, you'll find that folder that I added called Sublime Test. And when I click on that, we'll find a 
uh, HTML file called test.html. And that's how you connect Sublime, your code editor, to ASU's web host.